From a national nonprofit to police officers' wives, how people who have never met Deputy Matthew Yates are showing support for his family and the sheriff's office. Tonight in Clark County, people are preparing for Deputy Matthew Yates' funeral. Thank you for joining us. I'm Molly Coick. And I'm James Brown. A shooter killed Yates while he was responding to a shots fired call Sunday. WHIO TV tonight looked at the number of officers shot and killed on the job this year compared to last year. News Center 7's Brandon Lewis is live in Springfield walking us through those numbers. Brandon. Molly, the officer down memorial page shows that 35 officers were shot and killed in the line of duty at this point last year. And so far this year, that number stands at 38 deaths. Deputy Mathiates' memorial keeps growing outside Springfield City Hall as people pay their respects. We impacted so many kids and families and it hurts. We got to be here today. Arthur Solomon told me his wife worked with Deputy Yates for a few years and he felt compelled to stop by. I know a lot of deputies and a lot of them are having a very tough time because they, they love that man. Yates' family is also getting support from organizations like Luke's Wings. The D.C. nonprofit said so far it's paying for two of Yates' out-of-state family members to fly to Ohio for his funeral. Being together, being with someone that's been injured or being able to be together in a time of grief, it's absolutely invaluable. Killian said when Luke's Wings was founded back in 2008, it helped pay for travel plans for the family and friends of injured military service members and veterans. In the past couple of years, we acknowledge that there's a significant and unfortunately increasing demand across our law enforcement and first responders who are often being killed or injured in the line of duty. The officer down memorial page showed there's a 9% increase in officers being shot to death compared to this point last year. It's an increasing demand, as unfortunate as it is to say that. Um, and we feel compelled to serve some of the most selfless servants that we have in our nation. One of those being Deputy Yates. And for those in the Springfield community, it's a list they did not want to see his name added to. It's challenging, but I think as a community, we're going to pull through this. And Luke's Wing says if you just want to help them continue what they're doing, you can check out their website, lukeswings.org. We're live in Springfield tonight. Brandon Lewis, New Center 7.